What's up guys and girls, welcome back to the second episode of this Pong game devel development series in C++ and SFML. So in the last video what we had was uh, we had a window, a kind of, uh, I'm not actually gonna say it window because we had a window that popped up for a split second and then it ceased to exist, okay? And the reason for that, the reason for the, the window to just pop up and then just cease to exist was uh, was because we haven't been polling for events, okay? We haven't been checking for events. Now, in this video, we're going to do that. We're going to check for events and hopefully get something drawn to the screen. Hopefully, okay? Because I really want this video to be short, like less than 10 minutes. So, so let's make a function for polling the events. So we're going to make void poll events. We're going to call it poll events. In the game.cpp, let's just uh, declare the function void poll events, and this is going to be responsible for all the events. Now, what are events? Events are something that happen in the game. For example, suppose I have this window right here. Uh, suppose I have I have this window right here, and uh, like uh, w when I click on this window, this window drags and it follows my mouse cursor. How? Because it checks for event every single time. Okay, every single time it checks for event. Now we also want to do that. We want to check event every single time. Every time our window is running. So we're gonna have a while loop, and while window arrow. And remember the the reason why we use arrow instead and not a dot. Is that because our window is actually a pointer so yes so window arrow and there's a function called poll event in SFML and this takes in a event class object so we have to create an event class object right here so it's called S is from the SF namespace of course as I told you and it's called event and let's name it and I'm gonna name it EV you can name it E, you can name it anything else. Just don't name it event because event is a keyword, a separated keyword in SFML. So, and this takes in a event object. Now, what this does is that it checks for event and it stores the event in that EV object. So, if EV.type is equals to SF event event closed. So what this is telling is that if the event type, if the event type is equals to SF event close. So if the event is, we are closing the window. For example, hold on. Uh, so if we, so that if the event is like closing the window, this. So if we close the window, what we under we under window, and arrow, and there is a function called close in SFML. Close. Uh, an Opera, why are you opening? Okay guys, so basically what that means is that if the event, uh, the type of the event is closed. So what this means is that if we hit the close button, we want to do a window and there's a function in the window class called close and this basically closes the window. So it's kind of uh, self-explanatory. Yeah, so uh, that's basically what pulling and now we do have some other kind of events. So if you, if you want, you can just do eva.type and there's a lot of kind of events, sf event and so like uh, closed count joystick key for key press then we have mouse button events and all that stuff you, uh, you guys can check the documentation as well if you want for all of the events but uh, but I but yeah this this closing one is all we're gonna need for this tutorial and remember we have this function called running which basically determines if our program or our window or our game is running or not so as soon as we close the window we just what we also want to do is running running equals to False, which is that our game as our game has ended. Yes, that's basically what the poll event function takes, and that's basically what we have to do for this uh, for this video. Because oh yes, we will add later as our game goes on. So let's go to the main main .cp and let's make a our game loop. Okay, I'm just gonna call it a game loop because this. This is the loop that keeps on uh, running and running over and over and over, check, checking for updates and rendering stuff. So, so we want to run the game. Uh, so we have a variable called running, right? Yeah, running. So while the game is running, we, we also want to run the loop. So when you game dot so while game dot running, we we want to. There are two functions called update and render. We want to game dot update game dot render. So we want to update and render. From update, I mean updating the positions of the player and updating the colors and the windows and things like that. And rendering means just drawing to the screen because 
every single game there that you play runs in that simple mechanic first it updates the frames and it updates everything everything related to mathematics and colors and stuff like that and then it renders to the screen okay uh, we haven't actually declared this for uh, we haven't actually done the function declarations for this so let's just uh, de declare these functions void game update oops void game ranger awesome so update basically as i told updates the frame so we don't really have to do it yet because we don't have shapes and we don't have any player movement yet and so once we have that then we will need this update function a lot but let's uh try to get our window so in the game render what we're going to do is window clear and i'll explain what i'm doing window uh display and uh we what we're gonna do draw to the window so whatever we are gonna display or draw to the window is gonna be written the lines of code is gonna be written in between them because remember we we have to clear the old frame so window dot clear is a function inside the render window class actually it's from the render target class which which in turn inherits which is inherited by the render window so there's some inheritance stuff going on which are is really not that important as uh, told you to, to make it a bit more comprehensible so window that clear is it clears the old frames and drawing to the window you can just draw any shapes and stuff which uh, I think yeah the video is gonna be a bit long so I think you yeah we will do it in the next video well, and window dot display is basically displays the window to our frame to our computer so everything we draw is gonna go in between the clear and display functions of the window class yeah, awesome. Uh, that's basically it. So from the uh, let's let's go to update class and call this pull events function because remember we want to uh, have because we, we we want to check the update every single time and and the loop that runs every single uh, um, yeah the loop that runs every single time is this running loop. So we want to have this uh, function called pull events inside the update. So in the update checks for the events. And the render basically renders our uh, renders everything. So, if we run the program now, hopefully, fingers crossed, we will see a window to our screen. And yeah, generating code so it compiled successfully. And bam, there we go. We've got all our window. We've got all the resize. We've got all the minimize. Bam, awesome. All the close button. And as soon as you close, the game closes. The console also closes because because the this loop because this condition is going to be not satisfied and this is going to jump over to the uh, the return zero part as you can see here it has exited with code zero yeah that's basically all about rendering uh rendering from not rendering about pulling events in sfml uh if you guys uh, want to know more about what kind of events there are you can definitely check the documentation like you can go to c++ projects externals sfml include and uh, there are some uh, events i think with uh system or the events whoops SFML include window i think it word yeah there's the event and yeah and you can see all the type of events here so uh the, i think it's, it's like a in enumeration uh, yeah, yes, enumeration event that close, resize, and all this thing. You can check the documentation if you want, but that's basically what we need for uh, closing and uh, using the window. So, yeah, oh, should I accidentally uh, cancel the big visual studio? Yeah, that's basically all there's it to this video. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, stay tuned for another video which will come out tomorrow. When tomorrow we will finally get something drawn to the screen and uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. The real fun is gonna begin from tomorrow. Yeah, thanks for watching guys and as always, and as always I will uh, see you guys on my next video. Peace out.